Ok. Alright. Uh, let's check. I'll probably have to stop the quest to do this one, but yeah, this will take a couple of days, a few days. If it's anything like the less golden apple archipelago, it'll be like four or five days to complete. So I'll probably have to do this new event in between. But no problem. Let's check this one. Paimon and the Traveler. I've been waiting for you. Whoa. Looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Kree and Kaya are here too. Oh, it's Paimon and Mr. Honorary Knight. It's been so long. Ah, look who it is. You've caught me completely off guard this time. But then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. Oh, so no one here ordered Good Hunter. Sorry, I must have got the wrong address. I was just showing Pime on the way. I'll leave you to it now. Good hey, hunter thing. Stop pretending like we're doing food deliveries. It's been a while since we last met, but I can see you two haven't changed one bit. Don't worry, we weren't discussing anything confidential. In fact, we were just talking about you. Maybe we should let the star of the story explain it in their own words. Yeah! Let me tell it! Let me tell it! A few days ago, I was reading Todoko Tales in the solitary confinement room when all of a sudden, whoosh, a letter came flying in through the window. Flying through the window? How does a letter fly? Like a bird does. It was flapping its wings. It could even talk. It said, um, well, it was a bunch of stuff I didn't understand. You couldn't understand? Then it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. Ahem. <clears throat> Kaya? Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment slip by. Okay, I know. Anyway, the letter said, Oh, Klee, are you behaving? I see you've wound up in the solitary confinement room again. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Hmm, one of the witches. That sounds great, doesn't it? In principle, yes. <sighs> but the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. Mm -hmm. The letter says that Mom's friend lives in Sumeru. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Klee off to Sumeru on her own. But Klee is rather intent on taking Alice's friend up on this invitation. You see, so we were wondering, who can we send with her on the journey? Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and with a history of saving Mondstadt. Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you so well. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? <laughs> Of course. Yay! 
With Mr. Honorary Knight around, Clee's not afraid of anything! See, I told you that he'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Clee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. And you too, Kaya. You should join them. I noticed you quietly completed that backlog of paperwork we had. You deserve the chance to unwind a little. Oh, so you noticed. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. Great! Things will go even more smoothly with Kaya around. Still, Sumeru is pretty far. It's gonna be a long journey. Don't worry, Mom's letter had a magic invite inside. Mm. Mom says we just have to all shout out where we want to go at the same time, and poof, we'll be there in the blink of an eye. Wow! Does it work well, for anywhere? Definitely make things easier. It only works three times though, so we should only use it when we really need to. We could go to the Abyss. Plenty. One for the way there, one for the way back, and one extra, just for good measure. Sounds very mysterious. I still think we should use it sparingly. After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed, or what dangers we may encounter on the way. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, you're well connected. I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. I say we start by teleporting to one of them. Mm. It'll give us a chance to test out the magic invite, and also find ourselves a local guide. They know mm. Carly. That kind of makes sense. And since it has three uses, there's no point letting one of them go to waste. Couldn't have put it better myself, Paimon. So, do you have a particular contact in mind? <laughs> well, we need someone who's familiar with Sumeru and can be our guide, so sounds like we need a forest ranger. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... Gundervaville. That's the one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. Hmm. All right. Gundervaville it is. But shouldn't they know Kali already? Okay. Why not talk to her? wherever we go, especially with Kaya and Mr. Honorary Knight. We should be on our way then. If you'll excuse us, Acting Grandmaster. Yes, let the wind lead. I wish you a safe journey. And Klee. I know, I know. I'll be careful, I promise. Great! Okay, here goes nothing. Take us to... Gundarvaville! Gundarvaville. Gundarvaville? Grand Arbor Hill! Huh? No, it's not a hill! Ah, wait! But the three of them should say at the same time. The four of them, by more counts. Well, but it's slowly Sumeru. There was the three there. We made it! Paimon was sure we were about to end up someplace super weird. <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. It's okay, Klee. Good news is this magic invite really does work. We're not back on our Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt, the next we're in Sumeru. So this is where Mom's friend lives? Wow, there are so many big flowers. Oh, and jumpy mushrooms! Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Sumeru's full of strange stuff like this. Like, um... Hmm, wars with mushroom growers on them. Little fine silver fairies. 
What it, is it talking about? Crystal flies? They're everywhere. Crystal sure. Huh? Paimon doesn't remember seeing one of those. Oh. Uh. Wait. Are you talking about Paimon? Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one, it'll try to hit you with its cap. Really? Okay, well, I'll hit it back with my cap. And then I'll hit it with the hood on my jacket, too. <laughs> I'll definitely win if it's two hats against one. Yeah, Klee, you as long them. as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. But Klee's our friend, so we should be able to convince her to keep this trip explosion free. Right? Uh-huh. I'll be extra careful not to blow anything up. Um... I mean, I'll try my best. Aw, uh, that's very good of you, Klee. You're being very grown up today. Yep, I'm super grown up. I'm already the Spark Knight. Okay, Spark Knight. Well, keep up the good work, because very soon we'll be introducing you to a friend of ours called Tainari in Gandarvaville. Yeah, shouldn't we be at Gandarvaville? Um, we don't know a few fungi. They aren't uh, aggressive. Yeah, expect it to show up here or at the entrance. Uh, oh. Hey, look! It's Kale! Huh? And is that you, Louisa? What's she doing in Gandarvaville? Hmm. I've definitely heard the other forest rangers mention somebody dressed like that before. I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Hmm? Who do we have here? Traveler and Paimon! Huh? Oh! Kaya and Klee are here too! Hi, Kale! It's been ages! Kale! Yua! What are you two doing here? Well, that question's really more for you, uh. What a coincidence! I didn't expect to run into a fellow Favonian captain this far from Mondstadt. How's the vacation going? Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? <sighs> Is it just Paimon, or does Yua not look particularly thrilled right now? <laughs> well, since we're all here, we'll close up for some afternoon tea. Oh, cool! Great idea! Let's go! If you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. Uh, but earlier you were... Great. Well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Sumeru. Do share it with us. I sure looks like he's getting the kick, a kick out of this. If you must know... It's a little complicated, but simply put, I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lawrence clan. Mm. He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that led us here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? What was he going to do, enroll at the Academia? That would be quite a runabout way to achieve his goals. I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has any interest in intellectual pursuits. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing wrong with that idea in principle, but I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So, there's no knowing what lengths he might go to. As a knight and a member of the Lawrence clan, it's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. Oh, oh, if this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Mondstadt is no mean feat. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. 
He has no idea what's coming to him. You know, underneath it all, Paimon thinks you as a really caring person. Yeah, she's the best! She brought me some moon pie last time. <clears throat> he is family, after all. Anyway, I will make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. You're really going the extra mile for him? You owe you one after this? <sighs> now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? You explained the situation to Yuli Kali. Hmm. I'm afraid that could be tricky. Master Tainari is still at part of the eye delivering his lectures. Uh, he isn't due back for a while. But I think I'll be able to help out. The description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure it's hinting at somewhere in the desert. The desert? Hmm? Does that mean Mom's friend is from the desert? Hmm. I guess I'll call her Auntie Desert for now. I remember Mahamadra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Ah, uh, wait, wait. He said I should just call him Sino. Mm, I keep forgetting that. Huh. A domain that makes people's wishes come true. Oh, wow. convenient. So is it true? Does it really exist? I probably would have believed it a few years ago, but now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. This explains a lot. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured he had nothing to lose. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru desert mythology on his shelves. I highly suspect that he too is looking for that domain. Can I come too? Uh, I think you might need me there. You'll definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru. And I, uh, I think I have what it takes to be that person. Plus, it's a forest ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kale. Our party grows bigger and stronger still. What say you to this, Captain Klee? I think it's super cool! I read in a storybook that on your own you can only have a drop of happiness, but in a group you have a whole ocean. So I'm sure Mom's friend will be super happy if I show up to visit and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. That's the spirit. In that case, let's get the magic invite to take us there. Critics of the Magic Fighting versus the Destination Loud, which is. which is. Nothing wrong, Kali, but then shouldn't our guide be someone from the desert? Even the Eremites don't know where everything is over there. It's loading the new area already. Or it was supposed to find Whoa. it. Oh. This desert is huge! Wow, what an incredible sight! Yes, the scenery is quite magnificent. <clears throat> mm, she are likes you okay, Yula? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than in Mondstadt. Hmm. This area doesn't look very habitable, and I don't see a domain entrance nearby either. Oh no. Uh, I didn't pronounce the destination wrong. Did I? I mean, I don't think I did. Nope. You got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. 
I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. Klee's right. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. Phew. And what's the name of the place? Hmm. Maybe the entrance is hidden under a sand dune. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. The bar splits and uh, search the area. Oh, I'm angry. so tired and so thirsty. Hmm. We should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. Huh? How could that happen? Uh-oh. Did I break it by accident? But I didn't do anything. Todoko will back me up. I'm innocent. Uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. If the domain is somewhere nearby... Hmm. Does Mr. Honorary Knight have an idea? Instead of us trying to find the domain... Ah! Paimon knows where you're going with this! We can try... We can try getting the domain to find us. Interesting approach. Assuming we're right about this magic invite. That is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Oh, oh. I get it now. Plus, I know a super special trick we can use. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us too? Of course! Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now, so Klee's not afraid. Look, something flew over. Oh, a genie. Huh? It looks like a bottle. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. Absolutely not. It's not my style. I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumerian mythology. So, uh, is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? So we didn't have a to domain? come here? In a bottle? Huh. Well, if there's one thing we learned in Liyue, it's never judge a domain by its cover. Guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way in. Reach out with your hand! So we kinda of wasted two wishes wishes. Two teleports for nothing. We made it! Ah. <sighs> That answers that question. There's a path! I'm gonna take a look! Hey, don't run off and leave us all behind. Look! Look! There's a huge garden here! Incredible. It looked so small from the outside. Everyone, I suggest that we stop here for a moment. We should take stock of our surroundings before deciding on our next course of action. Since we're in a bottle, has anyone heard the story of the magic bottle? Oh, you mean the one about King Deshret and the genie in a bottle? I've read it before, but I struggled with some of the vocabulary. <laughs> What's the story about, Kaya? Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land. But I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of the magic bottle. But if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. Oh. Okay, I got it. I'll stay with the group from now on. Hmm. What? You sense it too, don't you, Kale? Something's not quite right. Yeah, the scenery here is beautiful, but <laughs> it's too quiet. 
And there's no sign of Klee's Auntie Desert here anywhere. Interesting. Maybe Auntie Desert lives way further down inside. This place is super big, just like Fischl's Immer Nachfreisch. Oh, we still have a long way to go. Guess we won't know until we get there. Let's keep going. So, I don't Hopefully think... Hopefully we'll meet her soon. Eula's cousin will be here. Then. And... Hmm. Ah. Mm. Sure, yo, boy, Vosher. Oh, I don't have an archer with me now. No, 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 let's cancel that. Can I just... About two minutes. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I think I'm kind of supposed to follow the path and uh, investigate. This kind of stuff. Wait a so I, I go following a guide afterwards. Otherwise, I'll, I won't remember what I found, what I didn't. Want me to come along? It looks like no one set foot on this road for quite some time. I agree. Mm. And the further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. Let's check it out. What it feels like. Can I touch it? Sure. It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. Uh, and that was the last we ever heard of from Paimon. A chouch you might get gobbled up by the water bomb monster. <gasps> That's so scary! Stop giving Paimon the heebie jeebies! Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. Let's clear some other descendants here. Mm. It's safe. I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! Hmm? Okay, okay! Pino won't touch it! Jeez. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Wait, who goes there? Uh, 
gurgle. doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? No, it looks confused. Really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up by my hole? It looks confused. I don't think it's hungry. Are you, Water Droplet? Oh dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Wait! Don't go! Wait for us! Why'd it stop? Maybe for us. they can understand us after all. Oh, I get it now. It's leading the way for us, just like the cats and Mondstadt. The cats like the lead cats? the way. Oh. How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it. You'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... The Cat's Tail. They don't really walk around, do they? I never paid that much attention to those cats. Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting. What's that? Can we touch it? Sure! Time to go! earlier did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something what your friend is trapped in the wall don't be sad water droplet we're here now We'll save your friend. You bet. But how are we gonna save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Nope, we can't do that. No breaking the wall. Hmm. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? The device has lit up, and it's projecting images onto the wall. Hmm. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Yep, what Kaya said, and that's where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? Maybe we just copy what the water droplet did? Hmm. But what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. <laughs> Uh, close to activate the streaming projector to enter the print on the wall. Uh, 
within the preprints, you can interact with objects or operate key mechanisms, solve the key puzzles in reach your destination or complete the corresponding exploration objectives. Changing uh, some objects on the outside of the preprints can affect the environment within the preprints. You can leave the preprint at any time during your exploration, the changes you cause in your environment will not be affected. Okay, so this box is kind of in the way. Aha! The box on the wall moved too! Huh. Whoa! You really entered the wall! Wow, another water droplet just came out from the wall! Thought that was the number one. It's saying thank you, Mr. Honorary Knight. That was a huge help. It was nothing. Traveler, how do you feel after entering that two dimensional space? Any <laughs> physical side effects? No, I feel the same as ever. Ah, the pain had been squished flat like a traveler pizza. <sighs> Quit while you're behind. You're clearly fine. How did he breathe? Well... I'm there. just glad that you're okay. Good thing you was here to look out for everyone. Can't say the same for you though, Kaya. You're pretty quick to send the traveler inside. Hey now, so I only suggested that because I was confident that the traveler would be fine. Water droplet? Is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep, you know. Anyone who looks like me or my friends. Oh, it ran off again. Hopefully this is a good sign. Amazing. Come on, let's follow it. Time to go. Huh. Wait, are you the same? Or are you another one? I have to say. A bitter pill to swallow. Okay, I think we're another one. Okay, just a few I remember. Brings a smile to my face. I thought we were the same one. Time to go. domain than we thought. And maybe that's where Auntie Desert lives. I hope she doesn't look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Itia, the situation is now critical. Our window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. But, but even so... This is your home. Hmm? Are you really going to let everything fall to pieces? What does she I, have to do with that? Well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? Paimon knows that voice. 
definitely sounds like someone we know. Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... Act now while you still can. You have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. The most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. But the question remains of where to begin. <laughs> Paimon's figured out who it is! Is it Mr. Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? She's a divine priestess. A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> is it a kind of mage? What are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Greetings, everyone! This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. <laughs> um, I hope. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. It's all right. Just leave the introductions to me. Oh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the Domain, just like yourselves. She is a formidable military general. Have any of you heard of... Inazuma's Onmyo Chamber. The... uh... what chamber? Onmyo Chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Uh... wait... This lady famously led the Class D underdogs to victory against the Class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the Academy have ever achieved. Hence, Formidable General is no exaggeration. Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> huh? I didn't know about that. Hey! The favorites were beaten by the classy underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. Hmm, that all sounds like tropes from some Inazuma light novels. That doesn't sound like the divine priestess Mr. Honorary Knight was talking about. Uh oh, did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or. Maybe she uses a different identity in her private life, and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. Seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce you was a good way to make an impression. Hmm, maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a title too. <clears throat> Some people call me a general. But it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh no. Sorry, my mistake, General. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya? <laughs> Call me whatever you like, Idea. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Kligan explain. So basically, in the story, a big group 
different people go on an adventure to Bottle Land. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh, uh, what's that one called again? Perhaps a sage? Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Okay, well, I'll just call you that. <laughs> Miss General it is. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute. Coming from you, at least cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? Oh, frame from you, hope. Comrade in arms, unless you forgot. <laughs> how could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Wait! Klee wants a title too! Mm. Okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! Da da da! Whoosh! Kaya can be the faster thief. Mr. Honorary Knight can be. uh. the knight! And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere! Master thief, huh? <laughs> I did like playing pirates as a child. So I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now filled? You can be the sword master who can cut through anything and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And Kali can be... Um... The healer. Uh, if we want to be the knight, we can swap. Uh, no, no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> And none of them You'll actually be the heal. Bestest healer ever! You don't talk much, but you're very kind, just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong, <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari. But hopefully it's the first of many. This is a great idea. Once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, then add in some role-playing. Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Adia. Hmm. There are lots of characters in Mom's stories, but you don't remind me of any of them. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Klee, maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss Adia. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to her. <laughs> the mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Adia. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, alright. I'll be the mascot then. Yeah, that looks more like a mascot. That's right! Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya! Hmm? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We 
keep getting sidetracked, but I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is something wrong with the Valuria Mirage? Oh, yes, about that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Needless to say, many things in the Valuria Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit too, when she gets here and sees the state this place is in... <sighs> it's oh, kinda obvious. so your mom's friend? Hi, Auntie Desert! I'm Klee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, so you're... you're? Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Wouldn't the years be a giveaway? Yeah, and uh, not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Right, Auntie Desert? Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. <sighs> you're... You're Alice's daughter? Oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now. Wait, that's it. I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain. <laughs> hide there until this all blows over. See you all in a hundred years. Adia's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, hanging its head in shame. Kale? That's a harsh analogy. Where'd all that come from? Don't worry, Auntie Desert. Klee's here to help you. And all my friends will help, too. Just take a deep breath. And then another deep breath. And all your worries will fly away. Klee's right. Many hands make life work. As a knight, it shall be my honor to render my assistance, not for sure. Yeah, don't you worry. Sir fix -a -Lot over here has a good track record with this kind of thing. Well, I'm useless, but it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, for the time being, please talk amongst yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through and maybe make a start on, um, delegating. Hmm. What is she doing here? How did she come here? Mr. Honorary Knight says that you're from Watatsumi Island. What's it like there? There must be loads of fish, right? Wait! You look kind of like a mermaid. Are there fish in your family? Oh, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, Miss Mage, but I'm just an ordinary human. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on, let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. I didn't check the map. Oh, I didn't check the map. Okay, so I thought it seemed a lot bigger, but no. Mm, yeah, I think it'd be easier to go for it than the archipelago was. Feeling nervous, Kale? Well, it's your first time as a guide, after all. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Tainari. Well, the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, <clears throat> put that mushroom down. <sighs> now, it's highly poisonous. There you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. Anyway, what about your role? 
Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. He isn't. <laughs> Maybe not. Until you factor in that I only steal from the enemy. I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Don't you? Oh! Uh, fair point, fair point. Huh? Who else has visited the Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the Academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. <laughs> he was a huge help, and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was extremely diligent in his work. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. I could so tell that was people a just sensitive know this. soul. A lot like me. Uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> I'm, of course, a very uh, strong and resilient person. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Mm. Then the gen... I mean, Miss Sangonomia. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good host and show them around. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? If I remember correctly, he headed north after the incident. It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh, if we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. There were some alligators back there. But so people just hey, know about this place. With each other. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened here. She's pretty happy with the, this mascot role. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw earlier. Mm -hmm. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came loose and went flying. Four components, I believe, which has caused the central hub to stop turning. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Oh, so who I've done this such place? a terrible job of taking care of it, it's so embarrassing. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. So, we need to fix the big wheel up there. And to do that, we need to find the missing parts. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away. But the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay? Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so I'll try my best to fill her shoes. And they're basically oh. the same. Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Earmark? What does that mean? <laughs> it just means we mustn't forget to do it. Don't worry. We can handle that. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomia, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. Mm. Understood. You have my search. All right, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other, especially our little mage here. You got it. I'll take extra special <laughs> care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll leave.
leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. She kind of looks like some... I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. Pokemon so gym leader. So, you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Hmm, Paimon kind of gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part. Time to go. Time to go. to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason, anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. Mark yours, yeah. how did you know about this place? I think it's here. <laughs> Time to go. Hmm, here. Okay, this is the spot. Now, I'm sure you're both wondering, <gasps> but where's the component? One. There goes my big introduction. Showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job. Oh, I can't believe I'm being shown up by a Hydro Eidolon. Cheer up, Idea. The Hydro Eidolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. That's where you come in. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. Hmm. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Now we see how eloquent speaker can persuade others to not only agree with them, but to do things for them. Oh, well if you put it that way. <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before and I'll tell you all about it. This is called the Streaming Projector. Everything here in the Valurium Mirage was made using this device. Mm. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. At least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Mm. So, this place is in like real and shrunk down is being projected inside the bottle basic functions like shining light okay not quite that basic at the moment it's only able to show two-dimensional objects i call them preprints. <laughs> think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something so you're saying the component fell into the preprints? Exactly. 
I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. <laughs> well, I, um, I'll be out here rooting for you by, uh, by doing a motivational dance! Really? No. Sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and wait patiently for you. Hey, come on! Cheer up! We'll handle everything from here! All you need to do is touch the streaming projector, and you'll enter the world of preprints. Oh, don't worry. It's not dangerous. No, I didn't check outside if I had to move one of those. No! Jump. Doesn't look like the component is in here. How does she know the component's here? If it's inside those chests. Yes, that's the one! Now you just need to bring it back out. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of gear? Yeah. Just look at things, Pyma. And why is it so small? It doesn't look like it belongs in that huge wheel. It's hard to explain, but I assure you that it's definitely one of the components. So that leaves three more components missing. Every journey begins with a first step. I think we're off to a good start, and things should keep going smoothly from here. You... you really think so? Of course, trust the general. I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the Onmyo Chamber, after all. Um... You, uh, you don't need to keep bringing that up. Anyway, thank you for all your help. I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. You two may as well head back to town. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. <laughs> Come on. confused. You mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. Oh, sure! You tell Kokomi everything that happened earlier with the water I droplet. See. than that how long oh, have you been here so you saw it back when it was still working oh yes i arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you but the incident took place not long after i entered 
Like Idea said, felt like the world was flipped upside down. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to disappointment, Idea. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Hey! Mr. Honorary Knight and Miss General are here! Oh! And our mascot! You beat us! I was sure we were gonna be the first ones back! Hey! How'd it go? Mission complete. Where a night surge goes, Victor soon follows. <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber even among the knights of Favonius. How about our master thief and mage? Did you find anything? You bet! We made a huge discovery! The place we were trying to get to was blocked off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. Huh? It appeared just now? Hmm... Come and see, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure! To the canyon. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after trying to make those repairs. I need to take a break. Miss General, you should come too! You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while I protect you. Wonderful! It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. <laughs> Let's go! Time to go. Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound, like something mechanical turning. It could have come here. It wasn't. It wouldn't could be it here. Have been the central hub? Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh. Oh. New guys, huh? Oh, hey! Paimon didn't realize anyone else besides Adia lived here. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, excuse me for asking, but who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down or whatever. The method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Idea is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, so I checked all the stations evil. around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Conked out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Nuh-uh! I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? <laughs> Allow me to explain. You introduce yourself, Fernand, explain what's happened. Okay, I gotcha. 
give us a little Well, right now, the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the carts here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. Mm. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Is it a stream projector, right? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. Mm, like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So, something like a sedan chair, maybe? Hey. Mm, but I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? Maybe just basic wooden cart. How about a cast with legs or wooden cart? Hmm. That would solve the issue of materials. Wood's no good. A rickety wooden cart would be too dangerous. Hmm. Really? Hey, everyone, come and see what Klee made. Ta da! Look, I made a cart! Wow! Uh -huh. Amazing work, Klee! It's made of wood. Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. Well, Dunkley, who's a clever mage. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try. And suddenly, boom! There it was! Paimon's gonna ask, what exactly did you make your cart from, Klee? I used Jumpy Dumpty. Hmm? So does that explode? <laughs> Hmm, is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's just... Th this card is made from... Um... Yeah. She's... Don't worry, just need to drive safely. It's a bomb or something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh... So to be more specific, while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay! No need to delve into the theoretical so, stuff. So what he said would, would be no to good. Make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of Starfell Lake. Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment. We need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Uh. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in. And the car platforms on the of the choo, choo cart are split into locked and unlocked states. You can only summon choo, choo carts and unlocked platforms. Uh, the first time choo, choo cart is in operation, which is a locked cart platform, the cart platform will be unlocked. When a choo, choo cart passes by already activated platforms, it will not stop and will continue onward. Uh, and that's just the, the rules. Ah, uh, yeah, I got the uh, last time. I managed to get Klee uh, on the last day. She was available. Whoa, this card is fast! Chugga, 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 woo, woo! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Choo Choo card! Uh, am I supposed to go? Uh, open that. The track is damaged up ahead. Mm. We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Okay. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. 
But the Hydro Idolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. Okay, so cool. someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the Hydro Idolon, right? But the projector here is sealed off by a giant bubble! That's the Hydro Idolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Aha! So for step one, we need Water Droplet to help! <laughs> um, any volunteers for step two? Leave that to us! We know what to do! Oh, I don't have trouble for that. Okay. Uh... So the Hydroidolin was locked up in that chest. Aww, it's completely empty! Didn't really need that. Yay! We saved two water droplets now! Good. Let's keep going then. Aren't these two alive? Aren't they alive? This two require requires for a hydro idolons to operate. When a hydro idolons, the corporal realizes and enters the two cards. It windows, its windows light, light up. At this time, you'll be able to read the card. The hydro idolon departs the two two cards. Its windows will go okay. I didn't know I could do that. Well, those two. You'll meet them soon enough. Okay. Brings a smile to my face. Uh, what now? Track switching. When a teacher card approaches track. Where you can switch lanes, press the button that appears at the time to switch lanes. Okay, just let's just continue. Just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. Uh, shouldn't be able to continue by. Uh, 
I don't know, can I? I'm afraid this may just take me all the way back there. Time to go! Ah, oh, I did get this part of the map. Ah, oh, in the trails are right here. Huh. Okay, this is the end of the the this green line because there are other green lines. Okay, this other trail nearby isn't part of this one. I think this place will be a bit confusing to get around. Yeah. Oh, there's another spinny thing here. It's so big, but uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer. Hmm. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch and the junction would rotate. Hmm. But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station. But he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with. But he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. If you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes! Finally someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. Uh, where are we just supposed to change stuff here? No. A few real lines. Cerulean flower heading to the hub flower above. Oh, hang on. Amber flower heading to the torrential twister in the southeast. Violet flower heading to the desert. Ah, oh, there's a desert inside. In the southwest. Aquamarine flower heading to the cave in the east. I think that's the one I was. No, that is a comorine. This is a comorine. Um, Wherever in this world I roam, rings. I can't. As there is jubilant waves, or its own body to crash into and break tra track layer fruits, it will obtain track layer stones. A Jojo card can carry a max of three Tracklayer stones at any given time. When you pass for a Tracklayer ring, while carrying three Tracklayer stones, a new Jojo card tracks uh, a track changer blossom will appear. Uh. Memories of my home. This blade. Yeah, no. It is the last link I have to yeah, the thanks. land of my birth. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. You were in a sandstorm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. 
Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. <sighs> Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Oh, I mean, turned it hmm. off. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? You won't it because of us. Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. The answer is standing right in front of you. Huh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. Yeah, we did. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Whoa. They started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. <sighs> all right, Jeremy. That's enough. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Any personal problems can be settled later. Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. You explain the situation to Jeremy. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydro Idolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydro Idolans are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you... Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? I don't like seeing people argue. I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be 
upset, Klee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As a passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. Who would? But it's still not right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send a cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? As long as you promise not to argue. Oh. Um, Alright. Hey, come on, you two! You're brothers after all! Can't you try to get along? the track plus on the screen to change the track to the choo-choo cart is traveling on the color of the floor beneath the larger track red it shows the destination of your present track use the wooden board within the platform to check the destination of the track okay. Uh, where are we supposed to go to? Uh, Amber. Okay, this is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. Says there aren't benefits to a life of one. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hado. Yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? 
Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, Ferdinand. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hado? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? Hmm. Klee's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers, after all. <sighs> I, um... Ahem. <clears throat> I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you. I know, but this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Klee, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Klee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Klee's approval now. And Klee's loving it. Klee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Idolin in the cart to help us. Alright. With what? He helped us already.
Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. How does? Hado and I have double checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Okay. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes, much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy! By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Yep, I will. Hmm, what's in your role? Why? Will I use that for to fix the thing? Want a new rope favored by adventures is a bit old but well maintained, so it can still be used as per normal. This rope was left here as a gift. Perhaps it is not just ropes that a person relies on when scaling great heights. Well, friendly hands that reach out to you. Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. <coughs> Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. I suppose some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us. Like Cleese having the most fun. <laughs> 
brings a smile to my face. That's so much fun! Klee can fly across the sky like a real mage now. Uh, guess that sort of makes sense. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya, since he's here too? Well? Nothing! Kaya's just the master thief! Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right. Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage, but there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh-oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. Mm. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. And that's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Uh, we shouldn't push yourself for no rush. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry, my mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Uh huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, what now? Let's teleport there. Can we fall here? Oh, we can't. Welcome back! Well, any good news? Oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? You won't be disappointed. Yeah, we took yeah, everything. We the choo-choo cart. Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Hmm. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we can all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Klee. Bye, Mr. Honorary Knight. Bye, everyone. Where is she going to sleep? Well, it sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that... So, oh, back to the damage. missing component. Did you bring it? Yep. You bet! The missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember.
remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Oh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idea. Yes. I've known them for quite some time, after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Understood. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I, didn't know. I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. Does she and the brothers have blue hair for staying here too long? Who would have known I'd find myself in such a mess? Oh, after all that talk with Alice about letting her daughter visit too. <sighs> but just as the general said, if we can restore the domain, then... Okay, to idiom. Hey, Kali and Yua! Oh, Adira is here too! Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! How are you? Did you rest well? I'm feeling refreshed. Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for you. Hold on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Huh? But wait, I I'm, I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia! The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said, Adia is the only person who could help. The fairgrounds? Yes. Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. Mm. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Mm -hmm. Okay, not that far. Oh. <sighs> 
Hmm? Yes, something so. Hmm. Time to go. So you pick up a gleaming lamps, brilliant mirror, can grant color to the lamp's light. When the correct color of light shines upon the lamp gem, the gem will be activated and certain treasure chests or other devices will be unlocked. But okay, but that's not what I have to deal with. Okay. Yeah. If you bring a brilliant mirror to the into the illumination radius of a different color gleaming lamp, the mirror will be subsumed. Uh, uh. Blue hair? Yeah, I think it's not safe for us to be here too oh, long. Finally, someone has arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a Dia with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Paimon's heard someone say that about Idia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! Uh, no, please don't. All right, all right, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hi. And Paimon is Paimon! They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. Hmm. Where to? Hmm. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? <gasps> Paimon knew you couldn't be so pathetic! You just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities! Uh, huh? What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. It's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well... There are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. 
the truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like, the world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Wait, he offered to help you? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? And that's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. Yeah, that's not a big tomb. Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maimuna! I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. <laughs> this is a good thing. Just talking game. about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right. This way, please. Hang on. She said the crystal fell inside. <laughs> How? There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone staring at you? Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but there are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me, would you? <laughs> you really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Oh, no. Of course not. Alright, please teach me. 
Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. That was a weird interaction. Oh, you chew. Well, why didn't I use the others? out a way to fix this looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light if i remember correctly the stage controls should be somewhere around here was not enough time to read that. It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. The lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Is it me or do I smell something sweet here? Wait, if melted... That's How one way it? of shining new light on the problem. Hey, Maymuna? to know someone named Sino. No, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind then. I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. We should probably head into the passageway that opened now. Okay, that's the same thing as before. It doesn't make sense for it to melt in the light but be able to get in the light way inside the mechanism. Hello? Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Lessig Lawrence? Who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? Uh, you sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that. Yep, he's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. Well? You. What are you doing here? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. I don't think he really means it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as a healer that he needs help. Okay. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Hey, no, no, wait! Shouldn't leave you, Halt. puss. You cannot just leave me here. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline, after all. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. 
We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Even though Yolston's harsh, we did come out the way here to save him. Alright, alright. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go. One for Eula, and one for Lessig. What? What is this? Candy? Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smelled coming from the lens. Yes, that's right. Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Yeah, you're probably right. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. Hmm? Oh, sure, sure! I, I still have more! Sorry, I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with him right now? <laughs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? I'm back. Oh? Have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. All right. Then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. All right. I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Now, let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Strange. Is that really the Lessig that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Dolan! It must have been trapped in the curtain, but at least it seems to be okay. Hmm. hmm. Can I get here? No. So cold. Oh. Damage. Doesn't come down. Mm. Yep. Huh. 
Can I take that with me? Because if I didn't turn this light, I think it could have gone there. Does that show up in the map? No. Wow! And Paimon thought it looked big from the outside! This place is massive! It is a magical tent, after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Don't worry, we're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. We've been to the Green Bazaar. Yeah! Not that anyone asked. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, We've already been there more times than Paimon can remember! Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of Eula's situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Mimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that 
People sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh? What are you trying to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> now, let's get that crystal light fixed. All right. Okay, I don't think I can get back there without melting it. Yeah. Okay. If we're going to raise the crystal light, then we need to open the top of the tent. Okay, let me move. Where's the blue thing? Oh. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. about myself I don't know if I should be worried for him or <laughs> happy for her uh, the shadow it's massive uh, wait the shadow just now it's <sighs> uh, uh, seems he still might need a little more time to recover tell me did everything go well for you all of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula, they're at least 40 times more reliable than you ever were. Only 40 times more reliable? That means I'm still pretty good then. <sighs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? <sighs> That's right. I remember meeting Eula, and then... Uh, and then... Uh, my head. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. 
I'm scared what kind of treatment he's receiving. Lessig Lawrence. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and abandon my wild efforts to restore the Lawrence clan. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. I... Uh, I admit it, yes. I came here in hopes of finding a way to restore the Lawrence clan to its former glory. But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. And not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. You and I are like glass ponds that were raised in shackles. We were taught to act like nobles, but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching. It all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war, but it is meaningless. You understand. Or I should say, you have already long understood. But I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. Hmm. Paimon sort of understands what Lessig is saying. Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Yes. This has all happened recently. After coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. Lessig. Both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. We are just ordinary people. <sighs> I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked, which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. See, people can always make different choices. And it seems that Lassik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? <laughs> They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb. But what about you? Did you ever tell your family about what you think? This is something that I've been thinking about, too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone, and it is time for the stage to be updated. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance any time and anywhere she wishes? Um, are you all done talking now? Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. Oh. Hey. Oh! It's one of the missing components! Wait, so you had it all this time? Why didn't you give it to me earlier? Well, you didn't ask. All right, I admit it. I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we'll let the Traveler hold on to it for now. Hmm? Wait, this looks like... It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? We have many times. Some may say too many. It's a candy box. We have. Ah, right.
Hey, I didn't pay attention. I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you can eat as an adult. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing components. Only one more to go! I'm sorry that repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. You should all head back and have a rest. I'll lead the way. Hmm. Mm. Familiar looking candy box. Where do they have a candy box like that? Candy box that's often used in very celebration summary. When the girl who would become a researcher was too young, she used to take one candy a day from the box. Back in those days, her biggest worry was that the candy would run off, out. After becoming a researcher, this empty candy box has become a nostalgic reminder of her possibilities in life. This candy box was left here as a gift to the researcher is also a symbol of freedom for misery. This scenery is wonderful. I don't know. I remember having candy with the Nyazarj, I guess. But I think the boxes were different. adventures to the forest went smoothly? Yep, you could say that. How about you? Up to anything today? Well, I suppose it's time I told you that as the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I shouldn't actually be here now. The truth is that a relic known as the Shinro Casket was lost from Watatsumi Island long ago. But recently, an orb matching the relic's description suddenly began emitting light, Almost as if it was guiding people to it. This is what led me to find the relic's whereabouts. What? So you came here looking for something? That's what you meant by broadening your horizons. I wasn't lying when I said that. Koro has often told me that sitting at home reading light novels is not the best of practices. And that I should try to get out more. As I made my way from Watatsumi Island to Sumeru, I enjoyed a variety of breathtaking sights. <sighs> it really is a beautiful nation. I even stayed in the rainforest for several days. I was surprised to find that the relic had ended up in the desert. I knew it was somewhere here, but I still couldn't pinpoint the exact location. Though I feel that Idea was not intentionally trying to hide anything from us, this domain does have plenty of secrets. I'm sure you've sensed that too. This is an unusual place, and Idea would suddenly become very busy from time to time. Plus, she knows Alice. Now that you mention it, a lot did happen today. Did you also happen to find any clues related to this domain? No, I don't think so. I'm afraid that he was caught up in his thoughts and didn't pay attention to his surroundings. Actually, before the world was flipped upside down, this domain didn't look anything like this. Hey everyone! Oh, I hope we're not interrupting your conversation. It's alright. You two did a lot today. Care to join me for a cup of tea? Sure! <laughs> that would be perfect! Yula and I just made some snacks! Turns out, Idea has a cooking stove and oven. Seriously, why didn't she mention it earlier? Oh! 
So did you make us some moon pies? No. I made something called storm crust pie. You should try one, Traveler. And I made some pita pockets. You can try some, Kokomi. It should taste great with tea. Uh, sorry. I should call you General. Oh, I would be happy to try some. By the way, Yula, how's your cousin doing now? Oh, him. <laughs> you would never guess, but he's busy over by the oven now. Okay. What? Hmm. Oh, cool. It moves. Okay, she's ancient cutest crops. Oh, there are many things now. And that continues the story. They aren't really marked here, are they? Whoa. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my It is the last guy. Okay, there's still this whole area. Okay, but I think this is a good, good place to stop. Off to the land of my birth. Mm, we're not sure tomorrow. Continue, but next week's for sure. And then, but I'll continue the story before. Uh, I had to wait for one of them. Yeah. I'll probably continue the start before doing those. Oh. What's up? This is the first time I've had tea that tastes like this. It seems Inazuman tea is a lot different from what we have in Sumeru. Ah, <sighs> yes. It seems people in Sumeru like to put spices in their tea, right? Yes, that's right! But I still can't get used to it. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'd drink coffee. Even though it gives me insomnia sometimes. Yeah, coffee's better. Alright. Uh, just one more thing for I'm out. One shot at the Wanderer. Okay, and I'm out.